Hi, you guys. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Woo! Um, wrong car. Holy cow. Okay, guys, we gotta switch cars. Switching it up. Okay, <laughs> this time I'm heading to the right car. We gotta take daddy's car. It's slick, be careful. Okay, <laughs> good morning, you guys. I hope you are well. If you're new here, my name is Tamara, and this, <laughs> this is Lightning Bug Vintage. If you're new here, that's awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, we've got a package that we've got to go pick up. If I seem excited, it's because I am. I've been waiting for this package for weeks. It was delivered about an hour ago and we just need to go pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick ride. Got the package. Time to open it. I'm so excited. So I ordered this from Jamie Ray Vintage. They are one of the very first YouTube channels that I started following. If you're interested in furniture flipping or just reselling things that you thrift, they're an excellent source. Even if you're not interested in those things, they are quite entertaining and they have a wealth of knowledge that they're open to sharing. You can ask them a question about anything involving what they do for their business, you know, and they just are so good at teaching and kind of explaining things. So that's where I ordered this from. And it took a while to come in because they, um, they made these, uh, you'll, it'll make sense in a minute. So they designed them and they cut them out on their, um, I think it's their CNC machine. No, don't eat that peanut. Don't eat that. These are corbels. Woo! Okay. Corbels. They're so cute. I love them so much. So, like I said, they designed these and cut them out. This was their craft kit from January. So, it's sold out, but... But you can get corbels a lot of different places. And then in the craft kit, you get all the supplies that you need to make the craft. So um, I've never gotten a craft kit before. I've never gotten a craft kit before because usually you have to subscribe. But this time, I don't know when they changed it, but I could do a one-time one purchase. As I was saying, you get all the supplies you need in their craft kits. So each craft kit is special. None of them are really the same, but this one... You get a paintbrush, which is nice. Zebra is a nice company. Um, I actually have this paintbrush, but I could always use extras. So that's that's included in the price of the craft kit. And then um, we've got some clear wax here that we're going to use. And we've got a couple of different um, milk paints. So this one is zinc. And then we've got the color moody blue. So Jamie from Jamie Ray Vintage has a tutorial on painting these corbels. I will be following her tutorial exactly. I will link that video in the description box for you guys. Basically, we're going to paint the dark color, which in our case is zinc. We're gonna put a layer of clear wax and then only on the places we want the second color to chip off. And then we're gonna put our second color, which in our case is moody blue. And so, yeah, we're going to work on that together this afternoon. I knew I wanted to bulk these up. I wanted them in this entryway alongside a beam, so I experimented with some scrap 2x4s that I had and realized that they were a little too bulky. So my husband and I went to Home Depot and picked out these nice 1x3 
um, pieces of poplar together. We picked it out together and we both felt they were a nice complement to the existing corbels. Essentially, I want to add these 1x3s to the two outside edges of each corbel. So I'm just measuring for that and making sure the pieces I'm going to cut are 3 quarters of an inch longer than the corbel so I have a little bit of overhang. I'm using my miter box for this instead of my circular saw. Um, with narrow little pieces of wood like this, it's just easier for me to get a straight cut with a miter box uh, rather than with my circular saw. I actually have a couple of different miter boxes. This one I'm using was a little more expensive than my other one, but I like it a lot better. Um, the brand is Stanley. The saw is better than my other one and it comes with these two black pegs that help clamp your pieces of wood in place while you're sawing. So I cut four pieces for each corbel and it took me about a couple minutes I'd say for each piece which wasn't too bad. I'm going to attach the two pieces of wood for each corbel together using my pocket hole jig. I've got to say this is my favorite new tool. It's so handy and it's pretty easy to use. If it looks like I know what I'm doing though it's because I did this all yesterday with my 2x4s that I decided not to use. So I'm setting my depths on everything to 3 quarters of an inch because that's the thickness of my wood. Then I have some one and a quarter inch screws for harder woods already that I own. I wasn't sure on the length of the screw at first, but then I noticed that right on the box it tells you what length of screw is right for the thickness of your wood. So that was super nice. That always eyes that kill me And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about it all the time I'm thinking about it all the time I'm thinking about it all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get in I'm so sorry about the curtain of hair here it's totally blocking the shot, I know, but I found yesterday that I needed some serious leverage and it was easier for me to hold the one small piece of wood with my feet while I screwed them together from above. It's also helpful to put your screws inside your pocket holes before you start screwing them in. And then I remembered right before I was going to start screwing the two pieces together that I should sand those edges down before I do that. That's something that I did learn from the last time I did this. So go me, I'm remembering and learning. So I was like genuinely upset with myself for not getting these perfectly lined up with each other. And then I remembered something that I've been working on lately and that is to have some patience with myself. I am an amateur trying to learn these things by myself. I'm not a professional and therefore it's not going to be perfect. But I will say that the second one I did was much better than the first and that made me pretty proud. And I'm doing a wonderful job of blocking the shot here as well. Sorry about that. So I decided not to use wood glue, but just to use my brad nailer to connect the corbel to these pieces of wood that I just assembled. I didn't feel like waiting for the glue to dry, and since these are just decorative, I didn't feel like it was necessary to use glue. And of course, I put my clamp right in the way of my second nail and had to take it off so that I could put that second nail in there. But you know, baby steps here, people. And then I assembled the second one exactly as I had the first. And right here you see me just sanding the edges down really quick with 220 grit sandpaper, just really lightly. I was going to caulk all the seams, but it was all dried up. So I decided to use some wood filler instead, just where I had um, connected the two pieces of wood. And now we're ready to paint. Like I said earlier, I'm just using Jamie's tutorial, which I will link for you in the description box. I'm putting the zinc color on first, 
thin clear wax where I want the second color to chip and crackle. The point is to make these corbels look old. After the clear wax, I'm painting on the moody blue. Then I apply some heat. I wet distress and apply more heat, and that's about it. I decided to tack these up with my brad nailer because I didn't want them to be permanent just in case later I decide I want to take them down. And that's the project for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this content and that it inspired you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see everyone in the next one. I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a